Hello friends, we are back to our readings of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 1, The Birth and Childhood of the Flame. In Book 4, The Book of Birth and Quest. We are through verses 305 through 310. Nearer the Godhead to the surface pressed a sun replacing childhood's nebula sovereign in a blue and lonely sky upward it rose to grasp the human scene the strong inhabitant turned to watch her field a lovelier light assumed her spirit brow and sweet and solemn grew her musing gaze celestial human deep warm slumberous fires woke in the long fringed glory of her eyes like altar burnings in a mystery shrine out of those crystal windows a gleamed a will that brought a large significance to life. Holding her forehead's candid stainless space, behind the student arch a noble power of wisdom looked from light on transient things. A scout of victory in a vigil tower. Her aspiration called high destiny down. A silent warrior paced in her city of strength. In violet guarding truth's diamond throne. A nectarous hallowed moon her passionate heart loved all and spoke no word and made no sign but kept her bosom's rapturous secrecy a blissful ardent mood and voiceless world proud swift and joyful ran the wave of life within her like a stream in paradise Many high gods dwelt in one beautiful home, yet was her nature's orb a perfect whole, harmonious like a chant with many tones, immense and various like a universe. The body that held this greatness seemed almost an image made of heaven's transparent light. Its charm recalled things seen in visions as a golden bridge spanning a fairy flood, a moon-touched palm tree single by a lake, companion of the wide and glimmering peace, a murmur as of leaves in paradise moving when feet of the mortals pass a fiery hello over slipping hills a strange and starry head alone in night a golden bridge spanning a fairy flood a moon touched palm tree single by a lake companion of the wide and glimmering peace a murmur as of leaves in paradise moving when feet of the immortals pass a strange and starry head alone in night 
think.